Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Edge Master Gaming, where today I'm going to be going over the latest town map that's been updated in Corrupt Zombies. If you didn't know, this is a recreation of the popular sub-map of the same name from Call of Duty Black Ops 2. In this video, I'm going to show you the map in its entirety, that is, how to turn on the power, how to get all perks, how to pack your weapons, all of the easter eggs that I found, and even some bugs that I'll be sharing with the devs later on after this video is published. But before we get started, if you wind up enjoying this video, please let me know by giving it a like, and if you're not already a subscriber, you should become one. It's a good channel. Also, links to my Discord and other sites that support my channel are in the description box down below. Please check those out when you can as I would greatly appreciate it. Alright guys, let's get started. When you first appear in the town map, you're surrounded by what looks to be chaos. There are fiery cracks in the road that when stepping over them can cause some damage as well as light the zombies on fire. If you shoot the zombies that are like this, they explode. Furthermore, if they explode on you, that causes even more damage without the PhD flopper. There are a few businesses that are located in all four corners of the map. In order to get the power activated, you'll need to flip the switch located in Steven's candy shop. Inside the shop, you'll note that there's a workbench for crafting on the bottom floor. As you make your way upstairs, there's Juggernaug along with the switch that tells you to fix three breakers in order to be able to use it. The first breaker is located on the bottom floor on the other side of this shop. You'll just need to make your way down the steps over here and it's on the left side. The second breaker is located right across the street from the candy shop near the back door of this bowling alley. Note that this is one of two locations for the mystery box on this map. Inside the bowling alley is the PhD flopper. And also there's an easter egg in which I'll cover later. Near the entrance of the bowling alley is the double tap machine. And the last breaker is located across the street from the bowling alley. From here of course, just go and activate the power and you'll be able to get all of the perks around the map. So I already covered where Jug, PhD Flopper, and Double Tap are located. The next ones that I want to show are the Mule Kick and Quick Revive. These are located in the same room on top of the pool hall. And that is the same building where the last set of breakers are located. Inside you'll find that the pool hall is together for the most part. Except for, of course, the big crack in the wall and the, uh, and the caved in ceiling in the back. Going upstairs, you'll note that there is a lost poster providing a 5,000 point reward for finding Kentaro. In addition, there are pics of the devs shown on each wall. And finally, here are both perks as promised. Also, this room has the last mystery box location for this map. And look, I actually found Kentaro. By the way, there are quite a few Kentaros located on the map, which you'll see a little later. Next perk is the Speed Cola, which is located inside the bank. In addition, there's a major easter egg that's here that deals with this bank vault. However, according to the devs, it's not available yet. Plus, here's another Kataro hanging out. Hey, buddy. And for the final perk, Stamina Up, it's located right here outside of the bar in this corner. Alright, how do you pack a punch? Which is very easy on this map. You'll simply need to cross the lava in the center and pack any of your weapons. Of course, you'll take some damage, but it's okay. When it's ready, just run back and get your gun. Oh, baby! This weapon just got a serious makeover! So I've shared with you guys the Bank Vault and Kotaru. In the back of the bowling alley, next to the dumpster, there is a slice of life poster that states, Tours start at the Bay Harbor Marina, which is a nod to the show called Dexter. America's favorite forensic serial killer who kills, um, <clears throat> serial killers, which is a little weird to say, but it's true. Up next is this Easter egg where if you shoot the radio on the top floor of the candy shop, it'll play some music like you see here. Moving on, there's one other Easter egg that I found in the bowling alley, which shows a video. If you knock down the bowling pins in the following order, the middle lane, right lane, and left lane, 
a video will appear on the above monitor. Okay, there are a few bugs on this map that I found yesterday. The first one deals with the zombies getting stuck at the barricades. I mentioned this one before in a previous video where if you pause the game, they will get stuck. However, the issue is this sound of footsteps that occurred afterwards. This sound will not go away even after killing the zombies to make the round progress further. See? The next one I found yesterday playing with a few subs on stream. It turns out that the mule kick room has zombies that fall through the ceiling, and when they land, they don't land consistently on their feet. Okay. Man. I need to turn down the volume. It's loud in here. Even more weirder, there have been times where the zombies have been walking upside down. What in the world? What? Have you seen this zombie that's upstairs? Oh my gosh. And there was even one in the ceiling fan. Oh, it's in, it's in the fan. It's on the fan edge. Look up. Oh, what in the world? Wait, what? What's going oh, on? Oh my gosh. Yeah, this this room is super bugged. Second to last, there's a bug where if you blow up too many zombies close to you, it enables this immolation cloak that makes you invincible to all attacks. Okay, that's not actually true. It's just lag. Sorry, guys. I just couldn't resist. <laughs> And finally the big one which was found with mule kick, you can actually jump on top of the mule kick and stay there. The zombies can't consistently reach you here. What? You just stand here and hold space while jumping backwards is what I did. Thanks to Andy for finding this out yesterday. Here's another shot of all the zombies coming while I'm on top of it. The zombies just continue to pile in and yep, nothing. Well that's going to do it for this video guys. Let me know in the comments if you like this new town map or not. Make sure that you keep that notification bell on and as always guys, remember to have fun, take care, and God bless.